Buenos dias, fellow modelers. Welcome to another episode of Handy Reviews. I am Mr. Handy, and as you can see, we're going to take a look at this big box. Uh, Soviet Bombers is uh, this week. Um, this is Trumpeter's 172nd scale TU-22 blinder. Uh, this is uh, a K... D version uh, so don't be fooled uh, by buying it thinking oh it's the uh, it's the bomber version uh, it's not it is the KD version which is the missile carrier uh, so let's uh, well, before we go I'll see if I can show you the box um, this is one big box uh, there's uh, what you get in the kit there's your decals there's your photo etch and there's your uh, aircraft. Uh, this one comes with that really cool shark mouth uh, motif on it. So um, let's just pull everything out. Uh, the nice thing about this kit right off the bat is that it is molded, the main body is molded as one piece. It's not two different pieces like the Models Vit kit or the uh, Italeri kit slash uh, SP kit. Um, this one, wow, lots and lots and lots of stuff. So let's, um, let's start with the uh, main body. Actually, no, we'll start with the instructions. Um, yeah, lots and lots and lots of parts. Not as much as the models of it, but uh, anyways, let's take a look. So on here, you do not get any information on the TU-22. So this one is just strictly instructions and what kind of things you should be watching for. And yeah, so uh, you get your nice layout for of all your sprues and we get right into it. So... Uh, here's the uh, construction of the airframe. Uh, then we have construction of the cockpit. Um, here's your uh, front. Uh, that might be the one of the main. No, that'll be the front uh, landing uh, wheel well and gear. Here's your engines. This is your Bombay uh, engine pod, which was done in this section here. Uh, the skid uh, thing at the bottom for the uh, the back of the aircraft. Here's your construction of the uh, all the clear pieces for the sensors and the uh, cameras, <clears throat> um, and your landing gear. Uh, more you can actually have the the nice thing about this kit is you can actually have the doors open. Uh, to uh, display the ejection seats. I think that that's really kind of cool. Uh, the other nice thing about this kit is uh, you have uh, posable uh, flaps and sla uh, I won't say slats, I'll say flaps. Right now, uh, you got your uh, posable tail fin. And then of course you got your different little bits and pieces for the nose. Here's your uh, wheel wells. And again, your flaps, positionable, uh, more flaps, and uh, dealing with the tops and the bottoms of the wings, uh, your uh, bomb bay. So they give you the bomb bay, and they give you the uh, missile, which is the KH-22, I believe. <clears throat> and then you have your main landing gear, and your completed kit. Basically, you're putting the... Uh, main body onto the wings and then your uh, uh, you have different uh, tails for this one uh, there's one with the uh, cannon and it looks like there is one with just the uh, ECM uh, equipment I believe and then you have your um, spots for your uh, for your uh, crew and your uh, finlets or fins airflow fins so let's get into the kit 
we start with the main body and now I do not know how accurate this kit is um, I'm hoping it's going to be fairly accurate but unfortunately when we're talking about trumpeter uh, there always seems to be something wrong with some of their stuff um, but uh, anyways so here is your um, main sprue uh, let's move these right off now. so this is your main sprue so you've got your two sides to your body uh, you've got your uh, the the one uh, non armament end for the uh, for the end or for the uh, tail the stinger area uh, this looks like it's probably your cockpit no detail unfortunately uh, and then you have uh, some detail here so that's obviously fitting in for the uh, navigator uh, and then you have a piece on the back end here for the cockpit and then uh, I'm not too sure what that is. It might be, looks like it's the inside of the Bombay. And so, um, so I will give you a quick look. There is no detail on the inside. Uh, this is, like I said, is probably the Bombay, which attaches in here. Uh, as you can see, there is some detail on it. And then of course you're got the sides as well. And as you can see here, there's no detail there. I will get in, try and get in tight for the detail on this one. As you can see, there's little, little bit, looks like some scopes. So, but uh, yeah, um, that's your uh, main piece. Again, uh, I can get in tight for the, uh, for the airframe, but as you can see, like it's not crazy uh, for rivets or anything. It's very basic, um, very basic detailing. Um, the only one issue I've heard about this kit is that the uh, landing gear uh, wells are uh, kind of weird. So, um, on the underbelly, so we'll have to we'll take a peek at that. Um, when we get there, and I'll just show you what I'm talking about. This is the top of your wings, your flaps, and your um, main fin. And then it looks like this is the inside to the uh, front um, landing gear. So uh, we'll get in close uh, for the wings. And you can see again that the detail is, is pretty uh, basic. Um, again, there's lots of room for detail improvements. So, um, if you so wish, but so. And then of course on the inside, there is a little bit of detail uh, in your the back of your wheel well there, um, which is nice. I will, uh, we'll get in close for that one. You can see, so it is some nice uh, interior detail. Uh, you won't have to mess around with that. Oh. We'll take a look at the corresponding parts next to that one. So this is the lower wings. And the Bombay area. So of course your Bombay area. Uh, the part that I was talking about actually, it wasn't on this one, it's on the TU-128. TU but uh, yeah, so I, I don't know, again, like I said, I don't know how accurate this is. Um, once I, uh, get a little bit a little bit more uh savvy with youtube i'm going to start adding things into the videos um but uh, and that of course will be things like uh dimensions and everything so we can see how accurate the actual kit is 
But uh, at this point, I don't know how accurate it is. Uh, of course, this is your recess um, right here. So this is your main bomb bay, and this is the recess part uh, for your bomb bay for the missile. Uh, and then, of course, you've got your uh, flaps. Here's your uh, tail fin or your tail, uh, your rudders in the back. Uh, horizontal stabilizers, I mean, and uh, your uh, main wing. So let's go in and take a peek at the detail on the wing. As you can see, again, it's very basic. Uh, so, but uh, yeah. All right, let's take a look at the engine pod and the nose section. So here's your engine section. There's your nose pod. Um, on this one, the uh, bulge isn't as pronounced as uh, on the, um, it's not as pronounced as on the Models VIT kit. Uh, on the Models VIT, uh, Models VIT kit, you can actually, you can definitely see the bulge. This one blends in a little too easily and I'm not too sure whether that is, um, how that is actually supposed to be. But uh, again, here's your uh, engine pods. Uh, this will be uh, more of the uh, Bombay door. This looks like it is the front instrument panel. Um, here is your cannon for the back end of the TU-22. And I believe this is the actual uh, back end piece with that radar for the uh, cannon. Uh, and then you have your uh, your... Uh, rear to the pod, there's your burner cans, and then of course here's your nozzles for the back. These I'm not too sure about, they're probably landing gear bay doors. Um, not too sure about this, it's probably the inside of the uh, main landing gear. But uh, let's go in close, I'll show you what we've got on the... <laughs> And we have nothing uh, for that. I'm I'm pretty sure that that is the um, front of the uh, the main uh, instrument panel. Uh, again, there's your cannon. Um, here's some uh, detail of the nozzles, which are not too bad, I guess. Um, of course, you can. Uh, Always replace them. Um, I believe that, uh, no, it's not, I, I don't believe, I know uh, that uh, Amigo does uh, a complete redesign set for this whole engine. Um, I have that set, so I'll have to take a peek at it or I'll have to review that at some point in time. So uh, let's just take a look at the, uh, the detail on the uh, engine pods. So, again, it's fairly basic in engine detail. Uh, it looks like you're going to have some uh, air scoops. Uh, it looks like it might be uh, for the air scoop. There's another one there. So, looks like you'll probably have some air scoops uh, to put on as well. And so... And then for the last screw... We have the missile. And bits. So there's our missile, KU-22. There is your uh, uh, landing gear wheels. There's your main landing gear. There's your main land or front landing gear bay. There's your rear landing gear bay. And what do we have all wrapped up in here? Uh, 
This is, oh, the ejection seats. The, these look huge. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they look pretty big. So anyways, let's, uh, let's take a zoom in. And I'll show you the uh, detail for the missile. So there's your missile. Um, uh, personally, I don't think it's as detailed as the Models Vet kit. The Models Vet kit, uh, KH-22, I think was a little bit better. So, uh, your landing gear, um, again, wheels. Uh, let's take a zoom in on these ejection seats. And we'll see what you guys think. So, there's the ejection seat. And I, I personally, I think those are huge. Um, there is some nice detail on them, but uh, like I said, personally, I think that they're a little bit too big. Uh, but again, you know, I am no expert. Let me know what you think in the comments. And then we have... We have, ah, yes, over here. So we have our clear pieces. There seems to be some photo etch. I will leave that there and I will zoom in. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic. I mean, you can pretty much see everything there. Honestly, it looks like it's uh, flare dispensers and uh, some aerials and then some boxes of some type. So, um... Our clear pieces I think yeah these are clear pieces and maybe we'll get lucky and slice ourselves open on YouTube All right, Jesus. Well, you certainly won't have to worry about this piece getting uh, wrecked. So there's, holy smokes. Well, there's your clear piece. Um, let's zoom in. <laughs> Whoa. So there's your clear piece and it is like crystal clear um, it is fairly nice it's very clear uh, very 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 bright and shiny and no Mars whatsoever Wow that looks really nice so let's put that back in there so that it stays crystal clear have in here I'm assuming it'll be some more clear pieces oh, let's back out hey leave that box alone the cat loves boxes she loves boxes and we'll sit there and sharpen her claws to her content in every box you can find so here we have I don't even know what that's for I think this might be uh, <laughs> I don't even know what that is I think this is uh, a piece that uh, <laughs> was put in by mistake <laughs> so uh, No, it's an okay. It, this is the um, this will be the sensor pieces and the camera pod or the camera windows. That's what this is. It was interesting because this looked like the front of a uh, 
of a canopy. So, but no, this is all for the uh, wind. Uh, this is the windows for the camera section in the nose and the sensor section in the nose. And then you have some landing lights. So, mystery solved. And then we'll take a look at the decal, decals, however you wish to pronounce them. Decals, decals. Um, again, we, Jesus, everything is taped in this. And, uh, as mentioned, this has got the, uh, the uh, cool, uh, shark's mouth. Uh, and of course, uh, here's all your bits and pieces, uh, for the, uh, cockpit. Um, I didn't see any, um, console detail whatsoever. It doesn't appear like there'd be any console detail in here at all either. Um, this looks like your front, um, your front, uh, uh, main instrument panel. This looks like your radar instrument panel, probably another radar instrument panel or engineering panel. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, these are, uh, fairly nice decals. They, they seem to be, uh, really nice. They seem to be all on register. Uh, these Ukrainian ones, I don't know, they, they maybe look, I don't know. I can't tell. It looks like they might be off just a bit. Uh, like I said, it's interesting to have the uh, the different uh, shark mouth motives and all the uh, the Russian uh, Cyrillic, uh, whatever that means, and then your mission markings. Uh, it's nice to see that. It's nice to see uh, some uh, Soviet um, nose art. Uh, you don't usually see that uh, for Soviet aircraft very often. Uh, not modern anyways, World War II quite a bit, but not so much in modern. So it is nice to see it. Uh, decals are very nice. Uh, again, you get your Russian version, uh, a couple of Russian versions, and you get a couple of uh, Ukrainian versions. So, And then the last little bit in the box is the actual uh, painting sheet. So, of course, there's your Russian uh, version. This one has got the uh, uh, shark mouth, um, one of them, and uh, this one also has a shark mouth, uh, Soviet version, and then you've got the a Ukrainian version. Um, not too sure why they give you uh, Ukrainian roundels when they're all, these are all Russian. That's interesting. Um, but, uh, as again, there is your uh, shark mouth. There's your uh, one bit of uh, uh, nose art. And then there's a piece of nose art down here. Um, it looks like that maybe the uh, roundels are on this aircraft here uh, on the top. So, uh, so it's carrying the Russian star on the bottom and the uh, Ukrainian roundel on the top. But... There you go. That is Tim, that is Trumpeter's uh, Tu-22 Strategic Bomber is what they label it as. Um, I'm like I said, uh, it is a uh, it's a caver a KD version. Uh, it, it carries the missiles. Um, again, I'm not too sure about the detail how, or the uh, how accurate uh, the kit is. Um, not the uh, uh, not so up on my uh, TU22 uh, information, um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what you get in the kit. If yeah, you, you could do a comparison. Like I said, I just did the uh, the last video was on the models vit TU22. Uh, you can do a comparison and uh, decide which one is better. Um, if I were to go for a TU-22 kit, uh, on the market right now, there's three. Uh, there's Models Vit, there's Trumpeters, and there's uh, uh, Italeries. Italeries used to be uh, AMT slash ESCI or ESCI, however you want to pronounce it. Um, that one has got some, uh, some length issues, uh, and there was a... Uh, an update kit for it, but it's long out of production now. 
Um, so your best bet, in my opinion right now, is either this one or uh, Models Vitz, depending on, again, what, uh, how accurate you want. <clears throat> again, we can uh, go back later on and uh, uh, try and do a comparison between the two and uh, see which is more accurate out of the two. But uh, as of now, that's that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hope it helped out. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, that uh, helps us spread the word uh, because uh, YouTube has got a uh, an awesome uh, algorithm. Uh, so liking and subscribing basically uh, shows your uh, shows your uh, videos more. Uh, stay tuned for the cat. <laughs> She'll be in more videos, I'm sure. Um, other than that. <laughs> You guys have a wonderful day and uh, happy modeling. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.